guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa if you're new here. Today I am going to be doing a little voiceover and showing you how to make Kylie Jenner's crunchy French toast. So it only takes a few basic ingredients. You have your frosted flakes, you have cinnamon, vanilla, milk, bread, butter, eggs, and brown sugar. So I'm making this for my kids, so I am going to make a little bit of a larger batch. I started off with two eggs, and it just didn't seem like, I don't know, there was enough. So I decided to go ahead and kind of double everything. So I used four eggs total. You're going to want to crack those into a bowl. You're going to basically combine everything, all the ingredients besides the bread, the brown sugar and the frosted flakes into the bowl you're going to need to also have a whisk um, or a fork something to mix it all up so you get your four eggs in there and then initially um, I did put one cup of milk in here and looking back now I would probably just have stopped right there <laughs> at half a cup and not filled the rest of it up. So I would definitely suggest using half a cup of milk. After you put your milk in there, you're going to want to use your vanilla extract. And I put one tablespoon of vanilla into this. And I didn't really measure the cinnamon when I put it in here. I would say it's like three dashes so that would probably be equivalent to about a half, maybe maybe a half teaspoon or maybe one teaspoon of cinnamon. Now get your whisk and mixing it all up so that it's all nice and blended together. And once this is all blended to, together, you're going to set this aside and you're going to start crushing up the frosted flakes. This is what's going to give the French toast that crunch. So again, I didn't measure out how much, um, how much of the frosted flakes to use. And initially Kylie Jenner's recipe calls for regular frosted flakes, but I saw these cinnamon frosted flakes and I thought that would add a little more sweetness or maybe a, a better taste to the French toast. So as you can see, that's probably about two cups of frosted flakes in the Ziploc bag there. Try to remove as much of the as much of the air as you can and you're going to get a rolling pin. You can use um, a can of soup. You can use um, a, a cup, anything. You just kind of want to smash the frosted flakes up as finely as possible. Um, like I said, you do want to remove as much air from the bag because there is a possibility when you smack that with your rolling pin, it'll pop open. It'll bust a hole in the bottom. So just go ahead and crush that up as finely as possible. You really don't want it to be like powder fine because you still want to have the crunch on the outside of the French toast. So I just did it to where um, it was somewhat, you know, crushed up, but there were still a little, a few chunks here and there. And then you're going to take this, pour it onto a plate, and this is going to be the surface that you're going to use when you're basically um, coating your dipped pieces of bread with this mixture. So now that you have your egg and milk mixture, you're going to soak a piece of bread on both sides and you're going to transfer that over to the crunchy cornflake mix and kind of get both sides covered up. Prepare as many slices as you're going to make at once so that you're not having to take, you know, breaks in between frying one and getting one ready. So go ahead and put your burner on a medium high heat. That's mine right there. And you're going to get a frying pan. This is kind of like a, a saucepan, I guess. It worked. Whatever. Get a pan, saucepan. Um, go ahead and melt like a tablespoon of butter in there just to get it nice and coated. And that's going to help crisp up the outside of each of the French toast pieces. So now you're going to take your French toast slice that you coated on the plate 
and you're gonna go ahead and put it in the hot pan. Make sure the pan is hot and sizzling. You don't wanna put this in a cold pan because if you do, waiting for the pan to heat up to temperature is going to kind of make the um, outside of the French toast a little soggy. So you put it in a nice hot pan and that really helps crisp up all of the cinnamon cornflakes on the outside of the French toast. So you're gonna put those in, you cook them about, you know, two to three minutes per side and go ahead and get that brown sugar doesn't there isn't really an exact amount just put as much as you would like I just sprinkled a little bit across all four pieces and you can periodically lift up the corners of the each French toast piece to see if it's crispy enough I added a little bit more butter to the pan just because um, you know why not butter will make it taste better so as you can see, um, I took this piece and flipped it over and it is like the perfect crispiness. Those little dark crispy um, spots on the bread. That's how you want it to look. The piece that's on the bottom right hand of the screen, um, I probably should have cooked it a little bit longer because that one you see how it's not as crispy as the other pieces. So continue to fry that side, um, add your brown sugar to the other sides of the French toast and let that cook. You can flip it over again if you want to, to kind of, um, you know, like get the cinnamon, get the brown sugar into the bread. And here's what it looks like when it's all done. Um, each kid got two slices and put some syrup on it. Here's a nice little angle. Look at all that deliciousness. Um, it definitely, I would say, is an 8 out of 10. Um, the kids really liked it. I thought it was good. So there you go. Kylie Jenner French Toast. If you want to give this recipe a try and make it yourself at home, go ahead and click down in the description box below. The full recipe is there. Don't forget to subscribe, like, turn on the notifications so that you never miss a video when I upload one. And thank you so much for watching.